welcome to this video over court roads in Malta and other places in the Mediterranean and their context. Um, during, just to repeat, during the simple and primitive but automated heavy braking, reinforced parts under the bottom of the cards heavily scrape and erode the piece of rock between the ruts. Uh, other authors and researchers speak about the missing marks of animals and humans on uphill parts or parts that are not sufficiently downhill get the movement without propelling. In certain pieces of the track of the loop, such marks would be scraped and eroded by the heavy braking system, because the whole card bottom scrapes under certain circumstances over this middle piece where they expect to see the marks. Anyhow, I still think there was no propelling by animals or humans. But if there would have been propelling by animals or humans, at least in certain parts were breaking takes place, those marks would have disappeared. So we know that most of the terrain, track, loop from mine to destination, port or ships, was slightly downhill. And the much fewer stretches uphill would be propelled by being connected to enough cards going downhill. Please remember the exercise for the mechanical engineers. So the biggest discovery context in human history. Scientists like Pablo Svante won Nobel Prize rather recently, Nobel Prize for Medicine, and David Reich working for the Max Planck Institute after decoding ancient DNA for the first time since 2017, found out that there had been a massive population turnover event that ended before 4,000 years ago and that did not start earlier than 8,000 years ago or better, that did not complete earlier than 8,000 years ago I have to correct this later it ended, population turnover event ended, at least the dominant part of it, before 4000 years ago. Let me keep open when it started and how it uh, migrated. But possibly in a period of less than 4,000 years, the turnover event of Western Eurasia took place. That is rather quick, eh? Please be aware that before 2017, we did not have any ancient DNA, and now we have a very useful amount of ancient DNA. This has a lot to do to, to, 
these scientists, Papus Fanti and David Reich. But they have all teams behind them. These researchers open the box for humanity that contains the tools we need to not go extinct which we are doing right now and for us to become more human again and only this matters at this point for us not to go extinct soon need to see and recognize the tools we need not to go extinct but first of all the box they opened will answer many questions we have and will break down all eventual dogmas we were car carrying until now. Just would like to remark that I have the impression that nobody kind of really dared to look into this box that was opened by these researchers and their teams. There's nothing very uh, horrible in this box is just inconvenient for consensus let us say for now because nobody expected a population turnover event of this size of the dimension of a takeover of the world or at least Western Eurasia but in Eastern Eurasia Central Eurasia, something very similar took place, but I won't mention it. Like all this in the Western Eurasian part is more studied and described. What is the population turnover event these ancient DNA researchers discovered so recently? I propose to call it the event the YPTE Yamnaya population turnover event because it's already kind of coined like this by David Reich recently and he has produced recent videos and books around the subject he won't talk about, for instance, uh, the Malta card words or about uh, these, the things that I mentioned before, above. So were these people planners? And to keep it very short and simple, let us quickly dive in the into the mind of the most powerful people in our history. Human history is long and several of the, these most powerful people must have been thinking of conquering the world. Depending on the standpoint, nobody or no Imperium ever succeeded, except the ones we are talking about, the population turnover event that ended 4000 years ago. They succeeded because we are them, modern humans are them. It's a bit more complex than what I just said, but not by much. Hitler and the Nazis are a clear and recent example of powerful people 
thinking of conquering the world thinking of achieving empires Hitler also focused or the Nazi also focused on an elite or superior race and were determined to actively increase their presence or percentage in their planned new world even to decrease what they supposed as not being elite or superior well these planners and plans failed certainly from the standpoint of genetics because the world is not this or that because of this or that, that imperium but in the case we are talking about it succeeded even from the standpoint of genetics as I just said genetically we are the turning over group the last of the turnover groups is that because they come in a sequence the last is a haplogroup R1B and to keep it more general R1B and R1A talking about the Y DNA case and together we could call them haplogroup R1 certain leaders of the Roman Empire are also related to milestones in our history but not genetically or at least not so much context of this video I would like to name Julius Caesar because he comes closest to a population turnover event in our recent history. I call the Imperium, the planners, I call them the Exotic Imperium. Others could call them the Inca Imperium. Or others, like Loa, talk about the lost, lost ancient civilization why she speaks about lost and ancient she speaks about lost because it pops up out of nothing that is become because it comes from the Americas ready a population a genetic ready arriving in mass so it's not lost we are this ancient civilization except we lost their knowledge because of degeneration and collapse of the cultures and of the knowledge These civilizations are not lost we just cannot see them because we, we did not see the context yet because we do not see or recognize the making of the plan the plan and the result of the plan which is us the culture is largely gone uh, it's replaced since in Western Europe it was replaced by uh, Catholicism in other places it was replaced, replaced by other gods um, at least part of their plan is exactly in these card words in Malta and other places, islands and countries nearby or in the Mediterranean 
So this event is the result of a leader or leaders that carefully planned it. And when I say result, I mentioning the population turnover event and the car threats in Malta. I would like to call or coin the planners the exotic imperium for now in order to avoid Inca imperium because in fact it's free Inca in the first place the Inca didn't have the knowledge uh, that the pre-Incas had so just because it's so important from even from a genetic standpoint these planners planners exotic imperium succeeded and conquered the world directly and indirectly and what we call modern humans is the result of it so it's not lost you just don't recognize this lost ancient civilization. It's also more difficult to see because it's cut in pieces. They came in waves and either wa each wave has a different genetic is uh, underwent a different hybridization. I will come back to this hybridization or domesticated domesti domestication later on in the next videos I will talk about the phases of the conquest of the world by the exotic imperium conquest or population turnover event Yamnaya event horseman event but you don't know much of it uh, because what made things clear was ancient DNA and ancient DNA is a very recent technique and Papus Fanti won the Nobel Prize of Medicine plays an important role in the development of this decode ancient DNA. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.